Oh, yes, the beatings will continue until morale improves. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Nerd Out Shelter, where it's a safe place to nerd out. And today, I am playing Her Majesty's Ship. All right, so this is a resource management game. I haven't played it yet. Maybe I should play the tutorial first. And it kind of reminds me of a combination of Bomber Crew meets Under the Jolly Roger. But instead of pirates, it's the British Navy. I don't know. That's what it kind of looks like. Um, but yeah, so let's check out the tutorial and see what it's all about. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hey, that's me. All right. <laughs> Your objective is to reach the rank of Admiral of the Fleet before other players do. To achieve this, you will need to carry out orders from the Admiralty at the same time, look after your crew's morale, and ensure that the ship under your command remains afloat. Okay, I guess that makes sense. There are up to 17 stations on every ship, each having a specific requirement and outcome when selected. Hovering over a station will display the station name, the crew resource requirements, and the result of the order. Simply press A button on the highlighted station to issue the order. After pressing Y button on the station, will show a pop-up with an explanation of the station after two seconds. Uh, okay, I think I understand that, yes. Alright, this icon represents the whole strength of the ship. Damage is received during combat. If the whole strength meter reaches zero, the ship will sink. Oh no, okay, we're at 90. Why, why is it at 100? Alright. Ship can be repaired by assigning crew to the repair station. Pressing A button on the station issues an order. Orders can be cancelled by simply pressing A button on the station again. Press a button on the repair station. Now, do they mean a button or the A button? Because it's all caps there, so it's kind of confusing. But I think they mean the A button. So, all right, let's do that. At once, sir. All right, they got little British accents. That's funny. The <laughs> all right, cool. Oh, they're repairing the ship. Oh, it, that's why it wasn't 100% because it's not repaired. Oh, duh. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Hey, there it goes, 95. It's coming up. All right. This icon represents the morale of your crew. The crew will mutiny if the morale counter reaches zero, resulting in a demotion of the player. Uh-oh. Crew morale is influenced by how events are handled on the ship and can be increased by engaging either rum station, all right, now we're talking, or galley station. <laughs> all right, so they're going to either drink or eat, and it makes them happy. All right, it makes sense. As the current crew morale level is low, it would be a good idea to increase it by drinking rum with your crew. All right, we're going to get drunk and party, man. Sweet. <laughs> As there are two barrels of rum in the cargo hold, and all needed crew members are available, we can issue the order. Press a button on the rum station. Just any button, or or what? <laughs> oh, they sound happy about it. <laughs> all right, coming to... Oh, that's me, I guess. I got the hat on, yeah. <laughs> He's playing the fiddle. Good job, Bosun. Oh, okay, good job, Bosun. All right. Another way to directly influence crew morale is to increase food rations. Press on the galley station to issue the order. Press A button on the galley station. All right, I'll press A button. Here he goes, gonna go get some food. Oh, okay, set rations. Double ration consumes two units of food and one unit of rum, but boosts the crew morale when served in the morning and evening. Press A button on the double rations icon. Okay, wait, yes, double rations, there we go. Now press on the confirmation button to confirm the order. Press B button on the confirm button. Okay, that confirms it. All right, the morale change indicator displays the change to crew morale applied every hour. Crew morale will automatically start decreasing whenever the ship is not in a port. When in a port, the hourly morale change is suspended. Whenever sailors are tasked to perform duties during nighttime, the crew morale will decrease in proportion to the number of sailors employed. All right, yeah, yeah, they need to get their beauty rest. That makes sense. At various intervals, events will occur aboard your ship. They are represented by event flags that descend down the wire. If the event task is completed before flag reaches the bottom of the wire, a reward will be earned. If not, the penalty will be levied. Oh, okay. In order to execute the task represented by the event flag, simply press on the relevant station. Once the order has been issued, the event flag changes shape to indicate the order is in progress. Event order always takes precedence over standing order at a station. Okay, all right. Press a button on the punishment station. Oh. Punishment. Oh, yes. The beatings will continue until morale improves. <laughs> yes. You get the cat o' nine tails. Sir. The captain has to be on the bridge to be able to sail. 
he will stay at the steering wheel unless you issue an order that only he can complete, or if there are no free officers to carry out the job. Let's set sail! Alright! Firstly, the captain has to be on the bridge to enable the ship to set sail. Yeah, you just told me that. Then, you need to... Oh, oh okay, now it's raining. That was quick. Alright, <laughs> those storms come in fast out here in the seas. Alright, then you need to man the sail stations in order to increase your ship's speed. Press a button on the sail sa station. That's easy for me to say. Alright. Yes, move quickly, lads, please. Oh, they're climbing up. Oh, that's cool. All right, sweet. All navigation occurs on the world map. To switch to the world map view, simply press on the indicated button. Press ZL button on the world map button. Okay, oh, and the rain's gone. Man, if you don't like the weather, just wait two minutes, okay? <laughs> the world map displays the following. Your current location. Location of all ports, including your home port. Location of forts, beaches, and shipwrecks. Your current objective as set by the Admiralty and all ships actual position. All right, so here we go, we got the map. To set a destination, either press on a desired port or on any point on the map. Let's set sail to your home port to restock the ship with new crew, rum, food, and gunpowder. Press a button on your home port. All right, so let's do that. Go over here, guys. All right, we're heading home, everybody. Yeah, and this ship sails just as fast as in Under the Jolly Roger. Oh, okay, we're getting there. The player can switch between the ship view and the world map view at any time. Okay, let's do that. In order for the ship to dock at a port, the anchor needs to be lowered. To lower the anchor, issue an order at the anchor station. Press a button. All right, I will. Aye, aye, sir. All right. <laughs> aye, aye. All right, there goes... All right, we're here. Um, it looked like the port came to us, but okay. Whenever the ship is docked at a port, the following orders become available. Buy rum, food, and gunpowder with gold. Recruit crew with gold. Attempt to press gang crew. No gold required. Oh, that's good. Recruit an officer. Purchase rank with gold. Available only at home port. Okay. Let's start by replenishing the ship's stores. Press on the market to send an officer there to purchase needed resources. Alright. Now, <laughs> now he's on the dock heading over here. We're going to replenish our stores. Alright, we're at the marketplace. Each item at the market costs one gold to acquire. Let's purchase three rations of food to feed the sailors, six barrels of rum to keep them happy, and three kegs of gunpowder for the guns. Press on the R button. Oh, okay. So we want... Uh, what did they say? How many of these? Oh, three of those. Okay. that that I guess that's food inside those. Okay. That makes sense. And we want six of those, and we want three of those. All right. Purchase perfect. Now recruit additional crew by pressing on the N. This action costs two gold per unit. All right. Why did you head all the way back to the ship, dude? Just you could have just gone right there. Okay. New crew aboard, sir. All right, we got a new crew already. Oh, they're still going. Okay. I guess it's automatic. It's just gonna keep going until we fill up. All right, I think we got everybody we need. Let's set sail from our home port to find glory and gain rank by carrying out orders from the Admiralty. First step is to raise the anchor. Press a button. <laughs> All right, let's raise the anchor. Now let's issue a command order to get all available crew members to man the sail stations. Press a button to hover the bell station. Oh, okay. Hovering over the ship's bell station enables the player to issue command orders. These orders send the maximum available number of crew members to either man the gun station, man the sail station, stop all tasks, and report to the galley. <laughs> it's dinner time, everybody. Command orders are just a shortcut to make orders to multiple stations easier. All right, press a button. Uh, okay, they want me to select that one. Let's do it. You heard the captain, lads. Now we... <laughs> you heard me. All right, now we need to get orders from the Admiralty. By executing these orders, players gain rank and win the game by reaching the Admiral of the Fleet rank before other players. The smaller flags on the back of the ship are alert flags. These flags alert the player to issues that need to be addressed on the ship. Whenever you are ready to receive a new Admiralty order, press on the Admiralty order alert flag. If you don't request an Admiralty order within a given time frame, the Admiralty will issue one for you. Press a button on the Admiralty alert flag. Man, I said Admiralty a lot of times in that. <laughs> All right, and more. We have more Admiralty things to say. All right. <laughs> 
The orders can be any of the following. Escort friendly merchant ship. Attack enemy merchant ship. Intercept enemy warship. Show the flag and anchor ship in a port. Build a fort. Capture a fort. Capture a port. <laughs> the player rank is influenced by the success or failure in the execution of these orders. Once you have received new Admiralty order, the alert flag becomes an event flag. You now have to complete this Admiralty order before the Admiralty order event flag reaches the bottom of the wire. You can automatically set course to the Admiralty order objective by pressing on the event flag. All right, press A button. All right. Whoa! Okay, the island disappeared and came back. Okay, that was weird. Now let's switch the view to the world map view to get an overview of this. Okay, things are disappearing uh, on the map. Uh, okay, that's freaking me out. <laughs> to get an overview of the situation, press ZL on the world map view. All right. Yeah, we're going over here. Let's go. Let's go over this way. He's already there. All right. Objective in sight, sir. Storm directly ahead. Oh, we got a big storm. Okay. We know how fast those come and go. Oh, naval combat. Now we're talking. All right. It's split into three phases. One, preparation phase, in which you have 15 seconds to man the cannons and ready marines to boarding stations. Two, combat phase, in which all combat consequences, such as ship damage, wounded sailors, and killed sailors are applied and displayed. Three, disengage phase, in which ships gain temporary immunity in order to be able to safely sail away from each other. Okay, so... <laughs> All right, so that's a lot of text there. Okay, so basically we put people on the cannons and they man them. And they get, a, they get a modifier if they're manned. And we put them on the boarding stations. And we can do up to three. And they get a combat modifier. You can assign sailors, marines, and cannons to boarding stations. And issue mass order at the bell station. All right, yeah, 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 sure, I got that. You have 30 seconds to assign sailors and marines. After that period, combat starts and the results are applied. I thought it was 15, but okay. All right, and then there's all the combat modifiers, uh, casualty percentage, and yeah, okay. Every combat has its own consequences, basing on your performance and stats during the combat. Different consequences will be applied. Your ship can be damaged during combat. Your crew members can be injured or killed. Wounded crew members will go to the med bay in order to be treated. If there are no empty beds in the med bay, wounded crew members will be killed. Oh, okay. All right, so let's man the guns. Yes, everybody get to the guns as fast as possible, please. All right, I think everybody's at the guns. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, fire the cannons. Oh, they're on fire. Hey, all right, that was easy. Combat results. All right, we won. Sweet. This is enough to give you working knowledge of running your own ship. It, well, it was a lot of knowledge. <laughs> In-game help screens will pop up when you encounter new situations for the first time, e.g. combat. We suggest you play your first game on the Midshipman difficulty level in order to gain a comprehensive understanding of all the game mechanics. Okay, but that's going to have to wait until next time because that does it for this episode of Her Majesty's Ship. If you like this video, please leave a like. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And until next time, thank you for visiting Nerd Art Shelter, where it's a safe place to nerd out!